Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. My name's Ava Saulberger. Today we are here in Richmond and we're going to have a look at two historic farms. But we committed to it, it being a really important symbol and structure in our community and for our family. And we're going to get a tour of Conan's Riverside Farms historic barn, which is over 100 years old. Have you ever seen that big barn? When you're driving on 89 and everybody knows this barn. So I you know, have this sort of like mental inventory of all these cool historic barns around. We all love the notion of barns. It kind of gives us this connection to you know, an earlier time where things were simpler. And it's, it's why a lot of people are in Vermont, because we have these beautiful pastoral settings. These two are the seventh generation here. And I don't know, I guess we've probably been milking cows that whole time too. We've built more modern facilities for our cows. So we actually walk cows from our more comfortable barns to the milking parlor and they kind of loaf around in you know, the downstairs of this barn on their way to and fro. For somebody to be able to maintain and preserve those structures is really a, a huge investment of, of time and money and effort. It's 1915 it was built after the barn that stood in its place burned down. I guess it was my great great grandparents. A super early barn, it is timber framed. All the timber came off the land and it was all milled here. I think it burned in April and they were putting hay in this barn in August. Yeah. That, that's, that's incredible before sort of diesel motors and tractors and everything, everything was, was horse powered. And the horse would walk and spin this treadmill, which would be hooked up to a pulley and a belt, and it would drive all sorts of different things. Uh, with this air able to flow underneath the hay. Like a hay drying mechanism, or, or a guarantee your hay was drying mechanism. Mm -hmm. Like that was technology back then. That was like high technology. We're very fortunate in Vermont. We, we do have a state barn grant program. So it's a $15,000 matching program. So at the Conant's barn, they actually received a state barn grant for the work on the cupolas there, which is sort of the perfect thing. You have this working dairy farm, gets money from the state to replace, repair the crowning jewel of the barn, which is seen by everyone. Two summers ago, we brought in a crane and we removed both of the cupolas. Cool. Kind of cool, and those things, and those things flew off. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know. And then we're able to go through and dismantle all the rotted stuff, rebuilt everything down on the ground here, and then flew them back on. It was an 80-foot megaton dance. Yeah. yeah. Right. The finials, the little wooden wavy parts that are up at the top, but it was kind of fun to be able to put something back that, you know, was there originally, but had been gone for, you know, 30 or 40 years. And it's a labor of love. The barn itself costs a lot of money, but it doesn't make money. So there's a lot of opportunity f for the building beyond what we're using it for now. Hey, let's work on this thing. Over time, we'll get there. So I think it's important for people to see that these old barns are still here. Behind me is the barn a little further down the road on West Main Street. It's dilapidated and unfortunately falling into the ground. So I was able to go to UVM for grad school for historic preservation. Just kind of fell in love with, with barns and with restoring barns. Sort of the beauty of being able to see these timbers, seeing the hand-hewn faces of timbers and seeing these ax marks that were created by somebody 200 years ago, 150 years ago, really connects you to nature and connects you to those building materials. We get to travel around Vermont, work with really cool people, fix up cool barns, and do some crazy stuff, lifting barns up, tearing roofs off, putting them back together. But basically this is a barn that hasn't had anything done to it in probably 40 years. You know, I would guess the building is probably something like 1830, 1840. This was probably built as a carriage barn. So the outside walls are just sinking lower and lower into the ground while the middle here kind of stays put. Um, so you got this, this wicked frown. I don't believe that there are any plans to restore the barn. Um, so, you know, sadly, this is a fate of a lot of Vermont barns. First of all, that phone call of, you know, so-and-so calls me up and says, I have a barn on Route 15 in Underhill. And I say, oh yeah, I know that barn. I've been driving by it for, you know, 15 years. And I've been hoping that you'll call me. And, you know, I drive by the Conan's barn all the time. And so I'm always, you know, kind of looking over and, and checking out those cupolas and the finials. And it's, you know, it's a real honor to be able to do the work that we do and to have it be seen and recognized and appreciated. And it's important for our kids to see that some things change, but some things stay the same. To keep these guys excited about you know what's next yeah I just hope that when these little guys are our age it's still here and it's doing something great 
night, Betty. We're hoping to explore different historic barns around the state every summer, so if you know of any interesting ones, please let me know, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, sign up for our weekly email alerts. Tasty as a <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> what are you eating? It's like, well, that's that delicious that stuff. Oh, delicious spider web. <laughs> Where's the cat? I Where's don't know. Cat? The cat is hidden from me this whole time, which is crazy because I love cats. She found a dead bird. <gasps> oh, really? There are two. Two? 